Hey, what's going on with y'all? This is your boy James, aka Darnell, also known as D Da Vinci the Poet. <clears throat> I do poetry and sim reviews, so if you like that type of content, stay tuned. And also, be sure to hit that like button, post me a comment in the comment section, click subscribe, and most importantly, please, please, please hit that notification bell because that's how you can see whenever I post a video. And it helps. And all these things help in my algorithm. They help for me to be visible on YouTube. Along with the other fragrance people like my boy Aromatics. My boy Justin Copeland. My boy, uh, well, my boy and my homegirl. Mr. and Mrs. Bowtie. Chaos Fragrances. Um, Gent Sense. Um, TLTT Reviews. Um. Uh -huh. Casual fragrances. Oh, there's so many. Rest in peace to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Um, the OG Jeremy Fragrance. Um, it's just so many out there. So shout out to all y'all. A gentleman's journey. Um, it's just so many. And if I forgot you, I apologize. But in this video, we're gonna get into Middle Eastern fragrances. Again, shout out to my boy Aromatics, because he promotes a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances and don't sleep on Middle Eastern fragrances. There, sometimes people say, oh my God, they kind of smell like you would be in the Middle Eastern, but they are amazing fragrances. They make a lot of clones. Um, so if you want something for cheap that smells like a niche or a um, designer brand and you don't want to pay that price, then get a clone from the Middle East. So I have three houses um, in front of me right now, all from the Middle East, and some of my favorites from those houses. Um, a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances have oud in them, so if you like oud, you can get a Middle Eastern fragrance. If you don't like oud, then stay away from a lot of these Middle Eastern fragrances because they would have oud in them. But not necessarily all of them because some of them are just clones of other fragrances and they have whatever ingredients those fragrances have. So without further ado, let's The first house is from La Taffa. And that's L-A-T-T-A-F-A. -A, a really good house. You probably heard of them if you've heard of. And I'm going to start with the most popular from that house, which is Oud for Glory, which is a clone of Oud for Greatness. If you like Oud for Greatness, if you ever smelt it, tested it, whatever the case may be, if you have a bottle, this is pretty much the same thing. It has the same pretty much notes in it. So I'm not going to go into detail with all of these because it'll take up too much time. But that's Oud for Glory from the House of Latafa. The one that people don't really talk about, which is a sweet Oud fragrance that Latafa makes. And that is Oud Nadia. I'm probably butchering that. But this is a good one you can wear all year round. You can wear it in the summertime because it does have some citrus notes in there. Moving on to the next house. that um, All of these houses make clone fragrances and they make standout fragrances as well. But this one is from the house of Al Haramain. And this one is Amber Oud Gold Edition, which I forget what uh, Zerzoff fragrance that this is a clone of. But if you look up Al Haramain's Amber Oud Gold Edition, you'll see what fragrance that's a clone of. I know it's a, a Zerzoff fragrance, but I'm not sure which one. I think it's like a teal color bottle. But um, but I need to get my nose on some more. I know they have Amber Oud Rouge, Rouge Edition, which is a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. I know they have, you know, different clones. They have a clone of um, Sauvage. Uh, I forget the name of it, but they're a pretty good clone house as well. And everybody knows the oh-so-popular 
Should I say it? Yeah, I should. Armoff. And we're going to start with the OG. The number one fragrance that Armoff makes. Probably one of the best fragrances of all time. And you know what it is. The clone of the infamous House of Creeds of Vences. You know it. Club de Nuit Intense Man. If you don't have this in your collection, then you just don't collect like a true collector. Everybody needs this in their collection. This, they always talk about, it has that harsh opening. Hmm. But I'm like TOTG Reviews. I love the opening. I think it's beautiful. What can you ask for? Another one from my moth that everyone needs to have in their collection because not a lot of people make clones of this, but this is Milsom Imperial clone, and that's Club de Nuit Milestone. This is my absolute favorite fragrance of all time. I love Milsom Imperial. Don't want to spend the price on Creed's fragrance, so you buy this. From the house of our moth, it's Club de Nuit Milestone. And this one, as you can tell, when you see this, I put a dent in this because I really do like this fragrance. Um, not too many people talk about it as much as, um, let's say, Intense Man or some other fragrances from the House of Omoth. But this one is a clone of Paco Revance 1 million. And that's Club de Nuit Man. You know, people sleep on this fragrance. It is a compliment getter. I have got compliments. I've gotten compliments on all these fragrances, but people sleep on this. You can tell by the juice that I do wear this a lot. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't have a scent on right now, so I'm definitely going to make this my scent tonight. And one thing about, I even put it in my beard. <laughs> one thing about fragrances from the Middle East, their projection beast that's one thing about middle eastern fragrances is they're definitely a projection beast so that's pretty much it here's just some of the um middle eastern fragrances that i enjoy so this is james darnell aka d da vinci the poet tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend's mother father sister brother the d da vinci the poet does poetry and sin reviews and i'm out peace and god bless see you in the next one